Alright, so today I'm back with yet another chapter review. And today we will go over chapter 265, which is going to be something really special, as we will finally see which side Kiora decides to ally himself with. Not to mention that the player Kiora allies himself with will get into the perfect position to score, which is something that you definitely don't want to miss. So be sure to stick till the end, because you don't want to miss it. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking, and let's get right into the chapter. However, before that, I have something important to ask you guys. I'm trying to hit 45,000 subscribers before summer, and there's 83% of people who watch my video who haven't subscribed yet. So if you could fix that by going down and subscribing to the channel, that would be awesome. And while you're already down there, you can always leave a like and a comment. And with that out of the way, let's finally get into it. Alright, so to start off chapter 265, the text at the top says, As the Emperor's right arm, his time has come to sit on the field. He will always be by Kaiser's side. And then we get right into the game. The ball is approaching Ness, and everyone has their eyes on him. Ness thinks back to Kaiser's training and his new weapon. He knows that he has to pass to Kaiser in a position where he can shoot. He says it over and over again to really get it into his brain. After that, he thinks that assisting Kaiser's new weapon is his role and no one else's, and after that, he fires off his pass toward Kaiser. The pass goes past both Nanas and Karasu, who are unable to stop it. Kaiser's eyes are glowing like never before as he sees the ball coming closer to him. But he says, you mutt, which basically means dog. The ball is almost right by Kaiser, but as he looks ahead of himself, he sees a ton of players, and because of that, he thinks that he doesn't have a single chance to shoot it right there, so he instead lets the ball continue to roll, ignoring Ness's amazing pass. Ness sees this, and is in total shock, as he can't understand what happened and why Kaiser decided to ignore the pass. After that, we see both Isagi and Kaiser, who, in sync, look behind them and watch who the ball falls to. And look at that. The ball falls to the most mysterious player on the pitch, which is of course Kiora Jin, who, I must say, traps it flawlessly. Just look at that trap, it looks so cool. Anyway, as Kiora gets the ball, he says that he's got it. After that, we see Hyori, who's a bit shocked that Kiora has the ball. Charles is just annoyed and a bit tired of this game, I think. However, Reichi is super hyped over this. However, after that, we see Isagi, who has his pieces flying all over the place, as an unexpected ball holder has now come into play, and he must adapt it to his puzzle. He sees that because of this, the enemy formation is in chaos due to the continuous attacks and thinks that this is the moment to go for it. He steps on the ground determined, and we can see that he's absolutely locking in right now, as his eyes have turned into total darkness while his piece can't keep up with his thinking. As he continues to run, he thinks that he needs to call for the pass from Kiora. Kaiser sees this and is determined not to let this happen, and he is looking to steal the pass himself, as it's his survival instinct. So instead of running up on the field, he runs back towards Kiora. When he arrives, he makes a turn around him, letting him know that he's there, which we can see confuses Kiora a bit, as he doesn't know what to do. Anyway, now that Kaiser is in Kiora's vision, he starts running up on the field again, and says that the element he needs is his constraint energy, which only he can breathe in. He then admits that he is a piece of shit, and that he will keep throwing himself into constraint as many times as it takes until death. Tokimitsu is approaching Kiora at a rapid speed, which makes it even more stressful for Kiora as he will soon have to send out his pass. As Kaiser continues on his path, he says that the field is the greatest thing in the world and that he must emerge from its absurd reality, and he can only do that by breaking through the crowd in front of him. He has to dive right into his dense constraint, by breaking free and charge towards his constraint, which is exactly what he does, as we can see him getting through the PXG players with ease. We see him sneaking in between Nanas and Karasu like they were just out of thin air. But it isn't only Kaiser who is trying to break free, as Isagi has the same idea, and knows that to get the pass, he has to be in the perfect spot. So he gets past one of the PXG players, and runs as fast as he possibly can. Both Isagi and Kaiser are running at full speed, and are awaiting the pass. They look absolutely furious as they tell Kiora to pass the ball, and to choose them. After that, Kiora finally spots the perfect spot to pass, and we can see how fired up he looks. Just look at him, even his hair changed color. But anyway, Tokimitsu tries his best to block the pass, but it's too late as Kiora has found the boundary line as he calls it, and passes the ball. However, something unexpected happens as the ball goes past Kaiser and sees that the ball is going toward Isagi, and he can't do anything but just watch. Isagi on the other hand, is pleased as he says that it's coming. A high speed ground trajectory that surpasses Kaiser. He knows that with this pass, he will finally beat Kaiser for good and take over the bastard Munchen team 
which will lead to Kaiser ultimately falling into darkness. But suddenly he comes back to reality as he notices something weird with the ball, as out of nowhere it stops going forward and instead goes backward. Isagi can't believe his eyes as he understands that the ball had a backspin to it and sees how the ball slowly goes back towards Kaiser. Kaiser manages to break free from Karasu's defense and is rushing towards the ball. Kiora, who can't take his eyes away, tells Kaiser to get it and to score. Kaiser is honestly looking demonic as he has some sort of aura coming off his face as he says that he did it. He stole it from Isagi. But the twists and turns aren't done just yet as Kaiser will face more trouble as both Charles and Rin are going at full speed toward the ball. Charles says to Rin that if he's feeling down, then here's a thorny rose, even calling him brother, which I know Rin isn't liking as he has enough brother issues as it is. Rin tells Charles that he won't let him take it and that he will stop him, just reminding you guys that these guys are on the same team. But whatever, even though Kaiser is facing major trouble with both Charles and Rin, he realizes something as he sees that the ball has stopped exactly how it was in practice and knows that this is the perfect chance for him to score as everything is aligned. He gets close to the ball and says that the last thing that will come down to is luck. After that, we can see him loading up an insane shot as he is looking absolutely crazy and he even has the luck puzzle piece beside him like Isagi had in the U20 game. Anyway, Kaiser gets ready to fire his shot, but sadly we don't see any more of that right now as this is where it ends. However, the text at the bottom says, All things ultimately return. The course of luck lies within Kaiser. And the next chapter is going to be called Superstar, which I think pretty obviously indicates Kaiser scoring in the next chapter, which I can't wait for. But what do you think? Is Kaiser going to score the second goal or not? Please tell me down below. Anyway, let's go over this chapter. First, let's just talk about how much of a beast Kaiser is. Just look at him here, getting past Nanas and Karasu. They were nothing. Then this panel is so cool. Even though, as I've said for some time now, it was pretty obvious that Kiora was going to side with Kaiser because Isagi has too many players around him and Kaiser was in desperate need of someone else besides Ness, which is working as he has utilized the blue lock players recently. I know that everything is set up to be perfect and for Kaiser to score in the next chapter, but I can't shake off this feeling that something is going to go wrong. I'm praying and hoping that he scores the next goal, but it just seems too perfect. And the one thing that scares me is that Isagi is so far up on the pitch that if something happens now with Kaiser's shot, Isagi might have the possibility of getting his hands on it. However, I ultimately think that Kaiser is scoring the next goal, especially with the next chapter being called Superstar. Anyway, yeah, this is just my thoughts on it. And please leave your thoughts and theories down in the comments, as I love reading them. If you like Blue Lock and videos like this, then I would highly suggest you subscribe to this channel. And while you are at it, leave a comment and a like, as it helps out with the algorithm a ton. And if you are curious to see another video of mine, then please watch the video that will be popping up on the screen now. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.